In today's episode, we are going to take a look at Carter Yakemchuk. He's a 6'3 right hand defenseman playing for the Calgary Hitmen in the WHL. And he is what we could call a throwback, so a big physical defenseman who is reminiscent of uh, old school hockey. To be honest, he is the player who has seen the biggest rise on my list this year. He made some improvement over the course of the year, but mainly it is because I gave too much weight to some mistakes he made, which in the end didn't repeat themselves with a frequency high enough justifying a harsher position towards him. Yakamchuk set a hitman franchise record with 30 goals this season. To reach such a mark, it will come as no surprise to learn that the Canadian defenseman has an absolute cannon of a shot. His one-timer is very powerful and his team offensive scheme are definitely geared to feed him. He is the trigger man on the power play. His wrist shot also has a lot of velocity and even from the blue line his shots are threatening. From a technical point of view, it is very interesting to note that Yakimchuk is very skilled at changing his shot angle, showing soft hands. He takes advantage of the fact that his opponent's furious shot to cleverly delay it just enough for an opening to open up to him. And it is far from being a common practice among defensemen to toe drag the puck like that to change the angle of their shot. Pass to Wedge, save Bjarnason, chance, Yakumchuk, that's blocked by Meliaven. Now it loads up, no shot, up top, Yakumchuk, wrist shot on the glass. Print moving forward, when they move the puck with authority and crispness like that, oh, they're dangerous. In they come again, Yakumchuk shooting, and that didn't miss by, played it at all. High man, Yakumchuk, toe drag shot, ping off the bar again. Calgary one shot on goal in the first three and a half minutes of the period. That does not include Tulk through the seam. The Yakimchuk wrist shot. Save Woodski. Rebound. Moranoff. Nice. Yakimchuk on the far wing. Moving in. Takes the shot. Hit. This demonstrates intelligence and offensive instinct on an individual basis. But Yakimchuk has a high understanding of opposing defensive systems and he managed to turn that to his advantage. His offensive instincts are very good as we often see him exploiting holes in the opposing coverage by advancing into the slot or low in the offensive zone. Personally, what I like the most is that you can tangibly see Yakimchuk wanting to be the one to put the puck in the net. He wants to be the one who will make the difference. On the ice, blue line, wrap around. This time he's at the left. Epic as Tulk spins it from the corner right to him, and he fires it right through the goaltender. Only goal in this third period by Calgary. Yakimchuk dangling a three on one. Wrist shot blocked by the one man down there. Still loose down low. Yakimchuk stick handling three players deeper for Hoyland. Sharp angles. Jordan two on the ice, a five on three. Can they strike? Tulk left circle. Yakimchuk a shot. That hit. Wheels to the left side, back up top, Yakumchuk gives it to Kindle, now Yakumchuk's one. Looking in with it, here's Tulk, now left circle, Yakumchuk the shot. Spinning away, Adazinski, still with it, trying to center it, Yakumchuk shooting, shoulder to side. Locker trying to go rink wide, intercepted, Yakumchuk a shot, stop. They get a whistle, dug out by Fawcett to Yakumchuk, wrist shot, put it high in. Hoylet, who is in front of the net, contending with Shiguru, loose puck, Yakumchuk behind the net, Adazinski. And as said earlier, although the Hitman's offensive strategies are designed to feed Yakimchuk, he proved himself to be a good puck mover. Once again, I will refer to his offensive instincts, as he demonstrates the vision necessary to spot passing lanes that are only accessible if he eliminates a variable at first. These passing lanes lead to excellent scoring chance when they are opened up following a clever move by Yakimchuk. When comparing Yakemchuk to the other defensemen in this draft described as two-way, I didn't see in them the ability to spot those plays that appear hidden at first glance, and I also doubt that these defensemen can execute those plays. It's Red Deer's Bernie can't get it out, out-muscled by Tulk. Bernie whacks him, but Tulk goes to the line to Yakimchuk. Left side, Kindle again to the line. Yakimchuk, right side, Tulk, loading up, shooting! Tulk wins it to the blue line, it's Yakimchuk for Calgary. Holds on, walked it into the slot, right circle, Chagall. Back to Yakimchuk, over to Tulk, SCORE! He also demonstrates an ease in feeding his teammates, which is equal on both sides. Not having too strong of a tendency in his game, which can become predictable. His execution can be very quick on both sides. 
Listed at 6'3 and close to 200 pounds, Carter Yakenchuk is one of the most physically mature prospects in the entire draft. He is also one of the oldest, having been born on September 29. It's easy to see as he is one of the most physical players you will find this year. He gives very solid checks, especially along the boards. It would also be important to warn his opponents not to challenge him too much during the skirmishes because he has a fairly short fuse. Yakamchuk has also been involved in several fights during the year. It's pretty rare for a player projected this high in the draft to drop the Now Yakamchuk lowers as he the did. boom on St. Martin and Wiseblatt wants to go after Yakamchuk who says, Okay, let's fight! And Wiseblatt trying to throw big rights. Yakimchuk trying to get loose. Wiseblatt fighting mad here. Yakimchuk taller but is hunched over. Can't get free. Wiseblatt switching to the lefts. Not sure how many have gotten through. Yakimchuk trying to go left-handed as well. And it looks like this scrap in this period when he stormed out to knock it away from Souchin. Now behind the scenes we got Marshall Finney on his knees in the Edmonton zone and Yakimchuk coming over at Finney and they're going to grab onto each other. Bit of a wrestling match right now. Now the gloves come off. Yakimchuk and Finney. Yakimchuk gets a couple of uppercut rights. He's got Finney backed up against the glass. More wrestling right now. Both players tangling. Yakimchuk and Finney. Not many punches. More push, pushing back and forth. Twisting and turning and Scrappiness, if you will. No, near the back of the net. Linesman got to think about getting in there with you know, foreign objects coming into play in the form of a net. And the linesmen said these two teams are going to endure this you know, year. I was thinking that, is it their best rivalry? But they've never been really good at the same time. You know, you know when Edmonton was starting out, Calgary had those dominant teams. And the Hitman consistently walked out of it with extra two penalties for... In the physical aspect, the only thing we can blame him for is that he sometimes let his emotion get the best of him and he will leave his position to go and hit a player. At the start of the season, I was harsher on him for a few mistakes that in the end only turned out to be occasional. Inaccurate breakout pass, leaving too much space on the outside or even lying down prematurely to cut off a pass. Oliver told for Calgary. Pats up a goal with three minutes left. Intercepted outside the line. Aremba drives to the net in tight. Centering pass. Stopped by. Top of the goal. That one's kicked forward. Bushamansky two on one. Right side. He centers it. Stop. Rebound. Scores! Braxton White. Dale Michael speeds his way out to center. Right side over the Calgary line. At the circle, he shoots, and the net came off. And Peter will go in after it against the back check of Yakimchuk. Coming out the right side of his net. Peter makes the strip at the left. We'll clear that one the length of the ice. Yeah, he was sent to the ice there by Corbin Vaughn on a perfect textbook body check. Good takeaway by Temple. Left circle, waiting into the slot. He drops the puck back to Yakimchuk. Yakimchuk drops it off, and it's intercepted by... What worried me the most was Yakimchuk foot speed. Some movements in smaller space seem difficult and he also tends to stop moving his feet when in possession of the puck. That prevents him from creating the necessary separation. Or no shot fed it across. It finds Yakimchuk up the right circle. Bottom of said circle now. Behind the net. Try to wrap it in. On the other hand, when he gets moving, Yakimchuk shows enough power in his strides. It is often more difficult to appreciate the speed of big players since their stride frequency is lower but Yakimchuk moves well on the ice and there is nothing to worry about. Yakimchuk, Moranoff covering for Yakimchuk on the blue line as the Tigers race up three on two. Harsani Mercik looks offside. Rebound Tigers, they'll just send an aerial out to center and get rid of the pressure. Three or four. The net again. Back at the line, now it comes free. Here comes shorthanded Connor Geeky to the circle. Geeky shots the... The only criticism that I had on Yakimchuk that has persisted all season long is that he is responsible for a lot of puck losses while attempting plays. Strangely enough, it's not that Yakimchuk doesn't have good hands. We saw some clips earlier on from his ability to change the angle on his shot or even the way he can set up play for his teammates. The problem is that he thinks his hands are much better than they actually are. Although it bothers me quite a bit, I can understand the play is trying to make and they actually serve a purpose. 
A lack of intelligence is not involved in those attempts. Picked up by Chishkin, tried to snap a shot, goes off a pair of shin pads. And a chance here for Edmonton to skate it out. Prep been looking for a call, none forthcoming as Fiddler off the wall. And the puck will be taken out to center ice by Woodward. Lead feet. Working in right wing side. Redmond is shot. It'll be Tonk to grab it on the left wing wall. wall. Good dominant ship by Calgary. Calgary. Looking for Yakimchuk. It's tail played up the left side to Cole Temple. Temple. Pressed in by Yakimchuk, who stole the Remba. He lost the handle to Yakimchuk, who tries to stride ahead for Calgary. Got Oremba all over Taxi the fan as we begin the second period. Calgary first touch. Yakimchuk into the zone. Trying to swim by Hodnett. Turned it over. Has Osborne with him. Yakimchuk joins the party. They hit the line, but Yak. Was cut off by Calgary. Yakubchuk brings the puck into Red Deer's end. You can hear what the fans think of that call on Franisic for Manic. He's got Chichkin at the line. Played it across to Yakimchuk. Trying to swim by Highline the net. Yakimchuk has pressure. Bernie's after him. Subtle pick from Moranoff. Opens it up for Yakimchuk. Breezes by guard. Over the line. Into the slot. Can't get through the remaining. Looking for Chase Valiant. And that didn't work for Calgary as that went through the same Shot wide of the goal. Puck up the near boards. Yakimchuk trying to spring. Made cross ice by Ethan Moore, Yakumchuk sidesteps Mullendike. Now go rink wide, Yakumchuk circle trying to drag it by. Blew a tire, no penalty coming. Now back to the way comes Yakumchuk. And it knocked away there by Wetch. Up to Yakumchuk, one on one against Dvorak. Yakumchuk got bumped there by Dvorak. Line picked up by the Hitman. Yakumchuk will skate it free out. Through center into the Broncos, own eight and a half to place the line. Walking the blue line for Calgary. Right side, Yakumchuk trying to drag it to the middle. He's in a crowd. Mar but in the end, the main task of a defenseman is to defend and Yakimchuk has qualities in his game that makes him a player who can earn the trust of his coach. I like how he closes the lane giving access to his goalkeeper during counter attacks. He prevents his opponents from gaining dangerous areas to take a rebound or even just to disturb the goalkeeper. Without the puck, However, his greatest quality remains the number of plays he managed to break. Thanks to good vision and good anticipation, Yakemchuk interrupts several plays from his opponents by cutting passing lanes at the very last moment. His positioning on the ice is never an issue, which helps him in this aspect, and he also has a good stick defensively. What's interesting is that he breaks plays in all three zones, in the neutral zone too, but especially in the offensive zone, where his audacity allows him to prevent breakout and thus extend his team's offensive sequence. These reasons are enough to make Yakimchuk a highly coveted defender by NHL teams, but to make it all better, he also has a very good breakout pass. Calgary clears it out to center. Tulk cuts in on a partial breakaway. He'll shoot. Stoes. Well, that Rebel coming in late. Both Brigley and Yakimchuk really tired, but all of a sudden Bernie was looking for the trailing Yakimchuk. Far blue line pass more, trying to split the defense to the wing. Here's a shot, Kindle! Feeds it back in behind his goal on the near side. And now Yakimchuk for Fawcett. It's Kin, far side, and out comes Yakimchuk. Stretch feed, Dale into the Broncos' own left circle shot. Near side, Yakimchuk through the middle, and there's Greenway in on a break. Greenway, backhand, gloves. Fall is there. Down low to Philman. Geeky heads to the net, but he can't get on the puck. Yakimchuk to bring it away for the hitman. Big right shot defenseman. Threading the needle on a pass. Personally, I see Yakimchuk as being the most balanced defenseman in this draft. The one where both his offense and his defense are at a high level. So both Parek and Boyum have some deficiencies in their defensive game, some of them being significant, and Dickinson, Levshunov, and Tsilaev are not able to make uh, some of the offensive plays that Yakemchuk can do. So this is it for Yakemchuk, I hope you enjoyed, and uh, next video is probably going to be on Artyom Levshunov. On the attack lead feed ends up left circle for Yeko. Yeko spins around. Quick, sharp, it's opening things up. Yakimchuk, Kindle, boom, drive. Save for a talk, brought it ahead to Yakimchuk. He'll swing it left side, spinning with it. Blue line, Yakimchuk walks it in. Left circle, Kindle shot. Save, made base. So he's got to pass it. Blue line, Yakimchuk. Back to Tolk. He'll settle it down. Across Tolk. Tolk gets it back. He's trying to spin away from a check. Leaves it there for Yakimchuk. Carter Yakimchuk weaves his way into the Broncos zone. Right circle shooting, and it's stopped by Rocha from the right wing side. High stood though with the red line. Yakimchuk walks in, right circle, fakes the shot. Now deeks his way in front. 
legs here in the first period. I would suggest getting better and better with every shift. Here comes Yakumchuk trying to tie this game perhaps late in the first. The play for McAdams misses, so he's going to go after it himself. Working against Mollendike, knocked it free, got it in front of doorstep. Yeah, we'll throw it out to the neutral zone. Picked up the other way, and Yakumchuk coming on the rush. Yakumchuk shot! Tough win, Calgary. Eight seconds on the power play. Yakumchuk point shot, rebound. Moore over to Yakumchuk. Dangles around one. Yakumchuk shot. Block. Back home at this very time next Saturday against the Sa Adazinski. Hamilton, now one time chance. Yakumchuk, good. Out of the blue line, Yakumchuk walks in. Circle shot. 7%. They've given up 10 power play goals against this year. Shot for the line by Yakum. Point for the Hitman. Left side, one timer. Yakum in the corner, centered in front. It's just on the line, but Pine kept it out. Denny up top, one timer. Good recovery. In the slot. They'll work it back to the line. Yakumchuk. He'll take a shot here off of Gal, deflects to Tulk. Blue line, Yakumchuk loads up. Shot. Thundered it. Leaders, though, are seated 1 2. And without that right now, Moose Jaw seed, not Swift Current. Calgary a steal, Yakumchuk to the slot, wrist shot. As Geeky headmans for Swift Current to Philman over the line. And Philman will get it out to center ice, a bouncing puck there. Chichkin trying to jam up on it. It rent with him, and Slaney pushes him off. Yakumchuk pushes Slaney forward. It'll go left corner. There's Braxton Whitehead for the Pats. The left wing now, Sam Oremba up the wall, center pass out of the reach. And he jammed it on, save rebound, Finney digging, digging, can't cash it. It spins into the corner. Bonaventura now shorthanded, trying to get away. Basha against Yakumchuk, hard stern check there. Over Geeky, and he's been a real presence today. Yakumchuk off the boards now, down low to Kindle shot, pads. Here's London Hoylet, a.k.a. Ty Kiddo at center ice, looking for it. It'll be Matteo Denis bringing it for Calgary, head of Yakumchuk, not a Hoylet, but he's... Cheer. He'll be everywhere. Yakumchuk, circle dot, slot one-timer by... Gets around one, hands it off to Yakumchuk, in the slot, Wetch again. It's Yakumchuk, right, right side now to Ben Kindle, up top, top Yakumchuk, shot. shot. Meanway, back to Talk, high man, here's Yakumchuk, shoots, ping, it goes off knee doors behind the Pats net, guarded by Hugh Hay. Now it's out in front, Yakumchuk, looking for options, he'll feed the line, Yakumchuk, shooting, Hugh Hay, the stick. Right circle, Ben Kindle, up high, Yakumchuk, shot, off the goal. Helped on by Gorzinski in the right wing corner, to the blue line, here's Yakumchuk, firing, and the middle slot, Yakumchuk. Shoots, blockers. A carrier, trailer, Yakumchuk into the slot. Fans on the shot, got it back. Pad save. Flamond with it to the blue line. They'll work it left circle. No good for Rorsma. Yakumchuk, the takeaway. Sauce pass to center, looking for Fawcett. Cut down by Shipley, but turned it right to the Hitman. Sawyer Mays over the line. Dropped it for Yakumchuk. Trying to dance off the check of Highland. Took a shot, blocked, rebound. Yakumchuk, check. He's a pretty fair defender. At the line, Yakumchuk. Kindle up to Yakumchuk. Now the net is empty for Calgary. A shot from Yak. It's Kindle. Now for Yakumchuk, he'll shoot, glove, save! A whole lot of meaning to it anymore because it's one versus eight. Of the Coyotes' first rounder storming into the Calgary zone, up the wing, good, cleared away. He threw it up in the air, his hand says, where's the penalty? Referees, neither one of them saw it. Yakumchuk sprints out to get his stick, it's at the wrong end. He grabs <laughs> it by the blade and he pokes it away and Oliver Tulk's got a... There in the middle to Adazinski, now shorthanded Matt Ward through center. Will kill off some more time, Yakumchuk forces the turn. Back down, shoulders his way past Valley, then into the Hitman zone for Wilson at the right circle. Wilson's pass blocked behind the net. Yakumchuk for Tanner Howe, the Pats captain can't, can't reel it in. Now he's got it. Two on, two on one, one down low. The pass across is blocked. Is blocked. It's the puck. Medicine Hat going to strike it up the left wing. Great intercept by Yakumchuk. They had Weisblatt loitering up the left wing. Now it's Lizowski for Minton in over the line. He's checked by center Matthew Ward. Left side fired into the Calgary end. It hit the referee. It's now behind. As the puck is dumped in, Calgary's faucet behind the net. Bumping. Philman dug it in front, looking for Geeky, but the pass in there, and Swift Current will usher it to center, looking for Wywostock. Decked by Yakum. For eight in WHL attendance. Broncos are the smallest city in the WHL, Brad, so they got a small rink as well, so their attendance. The blue line skates it around the top. Talk over to the right circle, fed it high. Yakumchuk scores! 30 goal man, Carter Yakumchuk! High slot. Hamilton and Tulk switch spots. Yakumchuk, as we've talked about, he'll score from the high slot. He'll score on wraparounds. He'll score from the circle area. But there, as his teammates switch spots, he's caught in the high middle slot, and his slap shot beats the goaltender high on the glove side. What a shot. What a year for Yakumchuk.